TN says, how do I respond to my daughter who is in a same-sex relationship when she says the passages in the Bible that refer to homosexuality don't apply today and to those in loving relationships? I, I get a kind of first response. Um, and go then, ahead. Yeah, you well, go. it would be just to ask, okay, if I could show you that you're mistaken and that these verses do in fact condemn homosexual acts, would you change your lifestyle and mind? Because I often think what we're doing when we're engaged in sinful activity is looking for a justification for that thing. Yeah. And really, if we were to be honest, it really wouldn't change. Right. So that would be the first thing. Like, are, you, are you even interested in looking at these verses to show that they do, in fact, condemn homosexuality or not? And then if you are, then we can have a serious discussion about it. But I think a lot of the times the answer is like, mm, not really. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with you, Matt. And uh, yeah, there's there's been, um, you know, a lot written on that. Um, you know, in a, in a couple of minutes, I could come up with uh, with some books that have been written to refute that uh, over here at uh, Pittsburgh uh, Theological Seminary. A uh, famous scholar now, you know, drawing a blank uh, on his name, but written an entire book on uh, the Bible and homosexuality, addressing all those claims like, mm-hmm. oh, well, you haven't translated the Greek word properly mm-hmm. or whatever. Suffice it to say, I just got done writing um, a biblical theology of matrimony going from Genesis to Revelation and all through the Bible. It's one man, one woman uh, for life. Even, the, you know, people say, well, what about polygamy? Polygamy is always shown to be a problem in the Old Testament. It always leads to uh, trauma, um, familial discord, and uh, even, you know, uh, rabbis and, uh, you know, biblical theologians and so on for a long time have recognized this. It's what I call the implicit critique of polygamy in scripture. I mean, take it, the, the first man to take more than one wife is Lamech, this guy who's uh, seven times more evil than Cain. You know, Jordan Peterson talks about him in, uh, in his 12, 12 rules, you know, Lamech, you know, who claims to be 77 times, you know, worse than, you know, his ancestor and stuff like that. He's the first one to take more than one. You know, what is the sacred author trying to communicate by telling us that bigamy was invented by this sociopath who brags about his murders to his multiple wives, you know? And then when you, when you look at the flood narrative, um, uh, it's actually the sons of God taking multiple wives or becoming polygamous that provokes God to send the flood. And all the humans and all the animals that get on the ark are monogamous. Remember <laughs> two by two? Whereas those that get drowned in the flood are polygamous. Um, and the ancient Essenes, who we've talked about before, the Dead Sea Scrolls and so on, they noticed that. And that was a major argument for lifelong mm. monogamy that they took uh, from the scriptures. So anyway, um, you know, from Genesis to Revelation, it's man and woman. And uh, marriage is not just like a, a tangential thing to biblical revelation. Like the marriage of Adam and Eve is the high point of the creation narrative. If you study it, the, you know, chapters one and two of Genesis, the marriage of, um, of the uh, bride and the lamb in the book of Revelation is the, really the, the culminating point of the whole Bible, okay, and also the book of Revelation. So these, you know, and right in the middle of the Bible, you have the celebration of marriage in the Song of Songs, which is understood uh, in the Israelite tradition as Messianic, as referring to, you know, David and uh, his bride, which is Israel, which is to come. You know, so all through the Bible, marriage is this central reality that symbolizes God's covenant relationship with his people. And there's a kind of a metaphysical resonance between the covenant between God and his people and the covenant between a man and a woman, like two crystal glasses. Like if you rub on Mm -hmm. one and the other vibrates, that's what human marriage is to the covenant between God and his people. And so when we monkey around with uh, human marriage and try to do man and man or woman and woman or one man and two women or whatever you have, every time we vary from what we have revealed in scripture, it leads to great difficulty. Yeah. I found just... the book on homosexuality, by the way. Yeah. yeah what's that? Uh, Robert Gagnon. That's it. Robert Bible Gagnon. and homosexual practices, texts and hermeneutics. Yeah. That's what I would recommend folks look at for these arguments that, oh, it doesn't mean uh, homosexuality means something else, you know? I would also recommend people check out some of the stuff Trent Horn has written. He did a debate slash dialogue with a quote-unquote pastor who identifies as 
gay Brandon Robertson. So if you look up Trent Horn Brandon B R A N D A N Robertson, you might find that debate interesting because they go over a lot of the arguments. Yeah. And then um, Father John A. Weiss, uh, I think it's I think his middle initial is, is A, but uh, Weiss, W-A-I-S-S, uh, has written uh, from a, like a pastoral perspective, a really, really good book. It's something like um, uh, Love and Our Brokenness or something like that, mm-hmm. but w- which deals with, you know, um, same sex attraction mm-hmm. and, and uh, you know. Born uh, to love. There gay, you go. lesbian identity relationships. Wow, this is a long title. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, put a link to that. Father yeah. Weiss, a very good book and, and very pastoral and, and sympathetic because he's, you know, um, just done pastoral care with a lot of people with, That's you know, great. attracted to people of the, other, of the same sex. And, we have an interview coming yeah. out soon with a fella who uh, was actually a seminarian hiring gay prostitutes encountered Christ in seminary, imagine that, and wow. began to find a great deal of healing in his own life. And wow. years later, he's now married to a woman, still has same-sex attraction as well as right. also. Um, so it's, and it's a beautiful story and it's, a, it's very merciful and you might find it's gonna come out shortly. You might find that helpful. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Before you go, do us a favor, leave a comment, let us know what you thought of the video, like, and subscribe.